Hello and welcome back to Terror Hand, the kingdom that makes legendary wine. At least uh, Jober G has been doing that, and um, well, you know, I think that uh, we should check out what that's named, right? The number of jo <laughs> the number of jaws you speak with. <laughs> I'm not drunk at all. <laughs> Double jawed speech. <laughs> Alright, I think it's quite a fitting name actually for a legendary grape wine. Well done you, Joba! Now, um, we have been skipping a day in time here and, um, well, really just because I wanted to finish off this roof here and what I did was, because I noticed that we were racing through our straw supplies here like crazy and, well, it's still winter, so what I did in the end was, um, instead of having like a double tile thick straw filled roof thing, I decided to add a little bit more realism and uh, added wooden supports for it, you know, so instead of this all being straw, we now have this be logs. And I think it looks even better as well, you know, rather than have a uh, yellow ceiling into this big massive room. So yeah, we will most definitely finish it, but um, yeah, that's really, you know, uh, not the only reason that I brought you back. Another reason is that it's right now it's a 12th day of winter, which means that nomads will soon be upon us, if any. But we can check that out with the kingdom's worth here. Yeah? Hmm, <laughs> having had four nomads last time, I think the chances of us getting any are pretty slim, but uh, we can always hope. Right? <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, we'll be finishing off this roof now until uh, we get more nomads. Or perhaps we will see one of those new fancy goblin raiders. I mean, I know they're there, <laughs> we just haven't seen any of them yet. So, yeah, and uh, also, if you, if in case you were wondering, no, we were not attacked while I was building this roof off screen. So, yeah, right. Well, um, let's see if those goblins come, and uh, in the meantime, we'll be building up this roof. Oh, my goodness. Well. Goblins have arrived rather soon, uh, I must admit. Though, wait, hold on a second. If this is a goblin... Yeah, it's a goblin raider. Howdy, mans. <laughs> oh man, totally not from some famous television series there. What are your skills? Well, already... I only think we dealt one blow and already he's fallen over and his feet is hurt. Or his foot is hurting, so... You come with nothing, and your skills are abysmal. Yeah, so you're really out there just to steal our stuff. Ooh, and there's more of them as well. That's interesting. They also have a guard, which, at least for now, seems to be the two-headed ogre, an iron-clad fighter, and another iron-clad fighter. So there's like two soldiers, an ogre, and four raiders, it seems. Am I missing somebody? No. Now that seems to be it. Fine then. Right. Well, we'll see how this goes then. Um, I mean, so far, <laughs> the raiders <laughs> don't stand a chance with... Oh, wow! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this goblin raider. <laughs> Let me check your health. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the goblin is missing his left foot and right arm. <laughs> the goblin is bleeding from his lower body. Left foot, head and right arm. The goblin has seriously injured his lower body and left eye. <laughs> the goblin has an injured upper body. Right leg, <laughs> uh, right foot, left leg, left arm and left hand. The goblin is blind and can no longer walk. I'd say that we could have a stamp on here. Threat eliminated. As far as it was a threat at all. I think as well, when I unpause this, the goblin will pretty much insta-die. No? Oh, Alright. I guess so. So far, the trickler is also doing outstanding work here, just filtering out those raiders, <laughs> which aren't a threat at all, really. Look at, look at that. And now it's time for the... Wait, what? Soldiers? Where are you going? Are you leaving? They're leaving. Wow. Is th Oh, that must be, of course, because we killed all the raiders. Yeah. All right. Um... Hmm. <laughs> 
This is kind of a... I mean, the trickler is doing its thing, <laughs> that's clear. Effective as hell, because it just filters out the weak goblins and then the strong ones leave. But, <laughs> I know this is exactly what it's doing, keeping the kingdom safe. But <laughs> this is no combat for a military. I mean, they're beating up unarmored and un well, weaponed greenskins. It's good. I mean, they deserve every bit of it, but um, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's kind of dull and boring for our mighty and glorious military. So, yeah, perhaps what I should have done really is pulled the lever over here so that, uh, and then after that we spot the first raider, we can just have the whole bunch come in. The other thing I noticed as well is that with those four raiders, we all of a sudden have like only two... Uh, Two soldiers and a two-headed ogre. <laughs> I mean, we can easily take that. So, yeah, we can just deactivate the trickler for when the goblins show up. And f when the mans come, it will still be very effective. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. And, well, those were... <laughs> I mean, that was the pesky raiders as well. They could have gone over here, really, steal items however much they want to, really. <laughs> but <laughs> it would be pointless. Because they would never be able to get out unless I deactivate the trick So, yeah. <laughs> Mechanics. I love them. I think that this is one of the most clever systems I've ever come up with. Now then, we have defeated a wave of goblins let's continue building over here until we know how many if any nomads will get Look at that, zero nomads have arrived. Though, to be honest, that did not really come as a surprise. Um, <laughs> yeah, after the generous tsunami of four nomads that we had last time. But it's alright, I mean, it's more or less expected. Now, we'll finish up this roof real soon, and, um, well, after that, uh, you know, some have pointed out, rightfully so, that the grave is quite nice, <laughs> but the area around it doesn't look like a proper graveyard at all. And, um, yeah, we kind of need to address that, really. Uh, another thing as well is that, I mean, this is Makita's grave, you know? One of our founding gnomes, and quite important to the kingdom and all that. Um, I also think it's disrespectful to look inside the graves. But um, yeah, anyway, it looks quite good, you know, it's big, majestic. However, if we go down over here, where we have the tomb of our fallen heroes, it's rather small and <laughs> stale in comparison. So I also think that we should, well, at least improve our tomb a little bit and possibly just Add another Z level to it, really. I think we should. And, um, or maybe have the rooms just be larger. Now, well, we'll see what we do with it, but yeah, that's definitely high on the agenda, as it is indeed a little bit out of whack, if you ask me. So, but first things first, um, let's finish up this roof now. Now that we know that we don't uh, have to expect any nomads coming anytime soon. We can just um, work over here on our roof. Finish it! I mean, <laughs> it took us like freaking three videos to finish it. Also, um, yeah, last video was crazy long. Look at that! Is this what I see that we have over here? Mans. It sure seems to be the case. I wonder though who has spotted the mans since they're behind an invisible wall. <laughs> um, I don't mind really. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> All the mans fall down. <laughs> oh, that's so good. However, this... Oh, it's actually only one man as well. It's not like a death stack of mans. Wait, what are you doing there? 
no, no, no. Whatever you are, Minka, get your sorry ass out of here. That's a freaking man. <laughs> You're unarmed. Oh, man. I hope you'll survive. Come on here now, Minka. Move your sorry ass away from there. This is for the big boys, not for you. Good, good lad. There. <laughs> yeah, I think we've actually pushed the man off. <laughs> that kind of works. Wait, what? How come we have an extra alpaca over here? I wonder how that works. Are you... Oh, perhaps? This alpaca has bread. It was like a female pregnant alpaca who got a baby. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> right. Um, anyway. Yeah, so... The man's... If it wasn't for Minka just screwing up there, appearing where he shouldn't be, then everything was fine, pretty much. But... Yeah, well, it still works. It still works. I'd say pretty good, actually. Uh, maybe they can actually watch, like through over here perhaps you know there's like a view path somehow I don't know really I mean <laughs> I find it hard to imagine but perhaps there is yeah well I think we got the whole situation under control though oh is that over here it seems that whenever they're walking like on the path over here there seems to be like somehow you know it somehow creates line of sight I don't know how that works out. By the way, <laughs> manned worker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we actually chopped off your leg. That's why you were so slow. <laughs> right. Well, I think that the trickster is just showing that this whole manned problem, you know, that we had with way too many mans coming once at a time and we're getting swarmed. I think that we've pretty much dealt with it. The trickler does what it needs to do. So, yeah. Good. Well then, uh, this time for real, let's finish off the roof. Uh, I figured as much. Somebody is trying to leave. Who is that? It's two merchants. Alright, that's fine. We'll pull the lever. Uh, I mean, the game got a little bit laggy and it's a good indication to... So. Yeah, see? <laughs> I mean, um, somebody should tell them that it's not gonna work like that. <laughs> they better just wait <laughs> till the lever is pulled. Really, I mean... <laughs> Alright, there's Nixus pulling the lever and off they are. Alright, problem solved. Uh, let's pull the lever again. And well, uh, continue on building over here. There, it's finished. Now, just on a side note, you might hear some music in the background, but that's because the local carnival parade is passing by <laughs> once again. I mean, I've already seen it, but I went back to home, and uh, well, you know, it makes like this huge circle through town, and now it's passing by my house. So yeah, it's a great uh, fan, but yeah, you know, <laughs> after seeing it once, I've already seen it. 
going out this evening though to see it enlightened, you know, with all the lights glowing, but yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> a minor side note there, the roof's finished, look at that! I think that we got ourselves a magnificent looking building, if anything. I mean, I truly think it looks cool, and I also think that this little overhang over here is just great added detail. Now, um, yeah, there is some scaffolding that I need to remove, but for the rest, it's pretty much done. Well, I, at least that is the building itself. There is still the uh, interior that we need to do. I mean, there's a room over here. <laughs> what? We even need to do the lightning. And uh, yeah, there's this secret storage room. Though, perhaps it's not that secret, actually, I mean, you can just walk in here. But yeah, this does need some work, I'll have to admit. But so far, it looks quite good. And, uh, well, in fact, with that work that I just mentioned, maybe... Yeah, you know, maybe we should address that right now. You know, finish it off so that we don't need to look uh, back at it uh, later and say like, Oh yeah, we might have forgotten like furniture or a torch here and there. So you know what, we'll finish it off right now and um, then we can call this project done and we can... Uh, well, focus on honoring our dead uh, some more with uh, proper graveyards and all that. Now, I see that we kind of need like a torch over here, but for some reason it's not letting me put one down there. Hmm, alright, well, um, let's see here. Oh yeah, of course, I <laughs> totally forgot, we need to have a ghost floor here, of course. And then it will work. So, a wall torch, yes, yes, any torch, of course, there, and it works. Right, so that should lit up these uh, stairs, I mean, <laughs> it's all nice that we have lit this one up here, but, oh, I might have also forgotten, like, yeah, you know what, we'll also dig in over here once more. To get like the last lightning uh, sorted over here. I want like a torch on this spot so we don't have the <laughs> two blocks just <laughs> not lit up. While the whole rest of the freaking castle is lit up. I mean, our castle, Royal Embassy, I mean, of course. Now, what are we gonna do in terms of uh, lightning and furniture over here? Obviously, we need lightning. Um, but I'm thinking that perhaps on this side, you know, on these sides of the, well, the window, <laughs> even though it's a lacking glass, but, or perhaps over here on this corner piece, yeah, perhaps, um, yeah, I'll, I'll work something out here, so, um, yeah, let's, uh, le let me get that done. <laughs> also, <laughs> I can shut up now, <laughs> so you don't hear the music, if you heard that at all, but... If you don't, look at you, but it's pretty loud here now. <laughs> I see that this last windmill is not doing what it, well, you know, should do, and <laughs> that is rotate. So let me just take a quick look at this. Total required power 50. And it has zero power, but that is because of this lever. Uh, let me just take a quick look at this. Is this still, does this have enough uh, to it be powered in total that's what I'm kind of curious to I think it does I think it only needs 50 we have 60 over here so <laughs> this one not working it's kind of okay I guess so, yeah all right good to know um yeah let's uh, continue on furnishing this area over here and, uh,
Alright, look at this. It seems that pretty much all the furnishings in this new room have been finished. So uh, let's set it up. I'm quite curious to see how much this will be worth. So, well, it's actually rather large as well. <laughs> I mean, damn. 730, that's not enough for a, an ambassador. We need to add one more thing. Wait, hold on a second. Is this chair? No, it's facing the right way, but... Maybe this chair wasn't the right thing. You know what we could do, though? We could deconstruct this cabinet and have, like, another cabinet over there. So we just rotate them, you know? Have their uh, backs facing this wall rather than this one. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So we'll do that. Uh, let's see here. Cabinet? Uh, Kevin A, where are you? There. Right, we'll have... Uh, we won't go with all... The... Actually, we will. We will have all birch cabinets over there. Let's see. I mean, it, was, <laughs> it was actually facing the right way. I went one over there, and then the other one over there. And that should give us uh, the room value that we need for the ambassador. I think that this is also a pretty neat room for an ambassador. I mean, it has everything. He has a uh, clothing, <laughs> cabinets, <laughs> he has a bed. <laughs> well, pretty important, <laughs> if you ask me. Uh, but he also has like a chair and a uh, table, you know, so he can discuss diplomatic business and stuff with... Uh, uh, the Emperor, who is on exile at the moment, but anyway, we all know the cause for that. But um, yeah, I think it's quite good. By the way, what's the worth right now? Oh, <laughs> Suomi actually claimed these quarters already. <laughs> Clever soldier you are. <laughs> yeah. yeah if, if I were you, I'd do the same. Oh, hey, bear, how scary. Come on. Finish this, I want to know how much this is worth. Right. Suomi's quarters. Yeah, look at that. 790. That's enough for an ambassador. So that's pretty cool. Now, I know we haven't finished this, but <laughs> to be honest, I mean, the music is, well, unbearably distracting while I'm playing. So, yeah, I'm going to watch uh, part of the parade again. And uh, we'll leave this video here. And uh, well, I know next time, uh, this will all be finished and we'll be working on the grave area. And on another new thing that I have come up with uh, a while ago already, you know, a big change to Tower Hand and hopefully one that will supply us with all the metals we could ever need. But what that will be, well, you'll find that out and next time when we play more Nomoria.